be here and now I'm going to talk about something that I've like never spoken about before and it's probably something that I think I've googled a lot of like the answers like for these questions and never really found any answers so what I want to talk about today is the smart drug modafinil or I should say the narcolepsy drug modafinil um like I think people used to call it Provigil and now it's modafinil so let's go with that uh, if you don't know what it is, it's basically the drug that they based um, the Limitless drug off. If you've seen the Bradley Cooper movie or you've then seen the Limitless series on Netflix, really worth a watch actually. But it will probably get you addicted and interested in these drugs. Nothing really like what the movie is. I mean, that's just like extreme. But this is going to be my review on Modafinil because I have been taking Modafinil on and off for probably two years now and I want to give I guess an aspect of not just using it like as a smart drug because it's like about 10 times stronger than Adderall and using it for studying or work or like what a lot of people use it for I also want to talk about I guess the effects that it can have on someone with bipolar um, or severe depression and someone who has like a lot of other kind of anxiety disorders and takes some other like medication so First of all, what I find is like, it does wear off kind of, over time it becomes like less intense. So if you are using it as like a smart drug, you probably don't want to use it every day. The first time you take it, it'll be like, oh my God, my mind is absolutely blown. Um, there's lots of suggestions on like how to take it and how to use it as a particular smart drug. So I don't want to go into that like too much. Um, people are always like, oh, you can stack it, you can take caffeine, you can take all of these things, whatever. My experience is that, I mean, it does really work. If you had a mundane job where you didn't have to talk to anyone and you literally just had to do really mundane computer work, like clicking buttons or like data entry or something like that, amazing. It would definitely work for you. My issue with modafinil is like it totally got rid of my creativity because it was like such a one-track mind thinking it didn't really expand my mind like the limitless drug promises nct it really focused my mind which was really hard when i was like writing or book editing or like creating art or doing so many like different things it's sort of that creative ability just disappeared it really had me focused but if i was like responding to emails or like copy and pasting things or if I was doing like, I don't know, like a bunch of really mundane like SEO editing on like my website or data entry, things like that, like it was amazing. One side effect I did find really hilarious is that it just made me completely uninterested in anybody. Like I'm just talking, I just didn't want to respond to like correspondence. I didn't want to hang out with anyone. Like my relationships to people just became like so emotionally detached. I was just like, why would I even care about you? Like why would like people, what? Like why do you need people in your life? Like it, it's not like I actively kind of rejected them or they may be irritable. It was just kind of like, I don't need you. So like go away, like just don't talk to me. So that was funny, like complete avoidance. and. I, I think it probably, like, if you're in a relationship, it'll probably make you want to, like, just get away from your partner, because you're just kind of like, uh, why are you even here? Like, um, I did find that really, really funny. I do have a friend that takes it, like, that takes it as kind of like a party drug, like a cheap way, I guess, instead of taking, like, pingers or, I don't know, like, MDMA or something. She takes that, she drinks on it, I don't know, she seems to think it's, like, fun and a good time. One tip that I have with modafinil specifically is you need to be really careful when you take it. And I'm not just talking about the fact that it'll keep you awake for a while. I mean, sometimes it makes me really sleepy actually. And I can actually sleep like an hour after taking it or a couple of hours after taking it. But I don't have an issue with that. But I can also drink like five liters of coffee and then like just sleep straight away. But I find that you have to really be careful of what you're focusing on when you start it because it's really easy to be distracted. It's super, super easy to get stuck down that social media rabbit hole or if you're playing some sort of game, like if you're a gamer, it's probably a really good drug for you to take because you'll be so goddamn focused. Like sometimes, especially if you're watching like a Netflix series or I have this like Emerge Dragons game on my little iPhone, um, 
oh sorry on my, my phone my samsung and it's like sometimes it can be like nine hours later or like 12 hours later and i'm like holy shit where the hell have i been so i kind of when i smoke weed and then i just disappear for like five hours i'm that person that'll like sit in the chair and space out and not say a word and then suddenly be like oh so and they're like where have you been for five hours <laughs> like it feels like a minute's gone by but it's like it's been forever so really make sure that you're focused on something before it kicks in because if you wait until it kicks in whatever you're doing to wait for it to kick in that's probably what you're going to end up doing for while you're on it uh as far as a mental health and depression drug i would not say it replaces any depressants in the sense of like sometimes it does amplify some of the feelings that you're feeling. So if you're feeling like down, it'll probably amplify some of that. But in conjunction with, for example, antidepressants or the mood stabilizers I'm on, I find it really, really effective for the fatigue. Now, like the fatigue is one of those things that can be the most devastating to your work life, to your family, to your social life to your general like I just need to stay in bed all day because I actually don't have the energy to do anything I find that like micro dosing um modafinil can be really really helpful I find like if you get a tablet you know I only take a whole tablet if I'm really focused and like I'm gonna do some work otherwise like sometimes just taking like a quarter of a tablet on a daily basis like first thing in the morning I found when I'm like really down, when I'm really fatigued, actually can really, really help with that depression uh, fatigue. So I know there's a lot of studies that they have actually given it to bipolar disorder patients. I have done a lot of research on the studies that they've done. And, you know, it was originally, I guess, a narcolepsy drug that that's what they created it for to try and get people to stay awake who randomly fall asleep so it is like a wakefulness promoting drug um there is another one i think uh armadafinil um which is to me it's sort of like modafinil without the high feeling so if all you're interested in is doing it maybe for like your depression i'd probably maybe go with something like that because then you will get like the wakefulness effects maybe without so much of the focus um, there is some, in someone with bipolar disorder, like some manic tendencies I found came through like reckless spending, just becoming obsessed with like, I don't know, online shopping. And like, I would literally spend like 10 hours on a website, like just carefully curating all the stuff I was like going to buy. Even if I couldn't afford to buy it, I'd just be like, yeah, this is totally what I'm going to buy. Like a thousand dollars worth of crystals. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like I just random stuff like chemist warehouse or Priceline or I like just yeah so that is one thing to kind of be careful of um I do monitor how much I take it now like I was taking it every day I don't really know how often I'm gonna take it now I'm really sort of careful because I like with all my like fogginess in my brain in regards to like my pinched nerves and stuff and a lot of the pain that I'm in, I'm really kind of careful at the moment. Like that's kind of my priority in getting well. But if you do have any questions on the rest of my experience with modafinil, put it down in the comments like below. And I might be able to answer like any specific questions you may have had in regards to um, the drug. Like if you've ever tried it, what your experience is. You can read a lot online. But, like, for example, I've often Googled, like, oh, the effects of modafinil and Zoloft or the effects of modafinil and Lamotrigine, things like that. I've looked up the drug interactions. There's no drug interactions with them. But there is, you know, obviously that personal experience that you can have. So, yeah, let me know, guys. Um, let me know if this video was helpful, if you want to see more on, like, random topics like this. And I will be doing a review on a couple of other really exciting things. So, subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't check it out um and share my shit around